we are talking about installing stable diffusion ai that everyone in 3d industry is talking about right now if you never heard about stable diffusion it's basically text to image or image to image ai tool that take your existing renders and make them photorealistic almost every design studio architecture firm or creative agency is now using this to enhance their work. Here's exactly how I use it every day in my studio. I take our base 3D renders and enhance them with realistic vegetation, natural looking people, tiny details that makes the space feel alive. The results, clients, presentations that every time gets the wow reaction. And here's the Thing. A lot has changed since 2022, when this first came out. The installation process, the requirements, even the models we use. Everything's different. So let me show you exactly how I set it up for a professional work. Let's dive in. Alright, first thing first. Let's talk about what your computer needs to run this thing properly. Before we start, if you need a step-by-step -step guide on how to install Stable Diffusion, and there we have it, you can find the link to this file in the description. First, head over to the GitHub page, you will find the link in the guide, scroll down until you see the Installing Forge section. If you're on Windows, just click and download the link. That's going to give you a 7-zip files. Let's unzip it. You'll see a new folder appear with all the Forge files inside. Open that folder. Before running Forge, it's important to update it. Double-click the file called update but run. A terminal window will pop up and automatically grab the latest files. When that finished, you're ready to launch. Now double-click run but. This will open another terminal and launch Forge in your browser. And there we have it. You now have the same professional grade stable diffusion setup that every company use every day. But at this point our stable diffusion didn't got any models or checkpoints. Now close our browser and here's a little tip to create a shortcut on your desktop. Go to show more options, create shortcuts, name it as stable diffusion and just simply drag to your desktop. Now let's download our models. Go to the web UI folder, then models, stable diffusion. This is where you'll place your models. You can download them from sites like Civit AI or Hugging Face. Just drop the downloaded model file directly into that folder. Once it's there, open stable diffusion and it will show up in the checkpoint list. Usually I use those ones. For me, cyber realistic version works the best. Now the interface. Here we got different types of work for stable diffusion. Usually I use image to image in paint. But now let's generate our first images. For example, using cyber realistic model, I would like to generate minimalist interior. Here's important note. Stable diffusion needs negative prompt for better results. You can generate them using chat GPT pasted right here. Now let's set up our generation parameters. Usually I use between 30 or 40 steps with and hate this size. Also stable diffusion is pretty limited on quality of generation images but you can upscale it using other AI options. Now click generate and here's our result. It looks pretty strange, so now let's make our prompt more specific. This one looks better. Now click on the folder, here you can find your results. Now let's move to the in paint option. Go to image to image, in paint, drag your image right here and by holding alt and middle mouse button you can zoom in and out. Here you change the size for our in paint area. Let's select this guy right here, only masked, sampling steps 40. I use standard parameters. Here let's indicate higher resolution and the noise and strength let's pick 0.7. And now for prompt we are going to simply type man in a negative prompt 
I'm going to upload my prompt special for people. Press edit styles. Here's my prompt I created for high quality people. Click save. Now close and find it right here. Click generate and in 10 seconds I've got this result. Well, it already looks pretty good, but it doesn't follow our image. Let's reduce the noise 0.5 click generate again let's make our denoising strength even lower on 0.4 click generate here's our preview and this one looks much better let's simply drag and drop this image into our window right here and click generate again with each iteration you will get more and more realistic results you can indicate even lower amounts of denoising so click generate i recommend you to use 4k image for enhancing but keep in mind that if you mark a large area it will be shown a little bit blurry so now here's the final result for example vegetation and asphalt looks more realistic same as people here you can see the difference between stable diffusion and render in realism i think it looks pretty good if you want to learn ai for your free renders join my course plemia school would be glad to see you there it's a pre-recorded all-in-one online course with ai tools business skills masterclass recordings and everything you need for a successful free career you also get my personal support weekly calls and lifetime access so you can learn whenever it's convenient for you in general my goal is to bring beauty and comfort to this world and i'm glad that i can do this with the help of arquis and if you're interested in gaining access not to just a teacher but to a studio owner who works on real projects again link below in the description thanks for watching and see you